review. Game review. Today on Mumbles, we're doing a game review. And what game are we reviewing? Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon, The Wildlands. But Mumbles, how could you be doing a review? The game's not even out yet. I know, but the beta did come out. So let's review it. Okay, so what is this game about? Okay, basically, this game is about your team, your Ghost Recon team, going after a drug cartel that has blown up the embassy, okay? So they killed this guy who was after them trying to bring them all down, and so the government decides, hey, we're going to send in the Ghost Recon team. That's where you come in. So the one thing that this game does strike right is its custom ability. It does allow you to customize your character. You can level up your guns, and it got a very nice leveling system to it. You have to find things, do things, do things like that. So story-wise, this game has a very solid story setup. So I wanna, I'm gonna touch on more on the story later, but let's go into the graphics now. Graphics are amazing in this game. They couldn't have done any better. The details that they put in everything are fantastic. Now, control-wise, the controls work great. One thing I do wanna point out is I love, 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 love how they did the cover system. You simply push up against something and you go into cover, which is nice. I like it a lot. Also, driving and flying controls are fantastic, so no cons there, everything is good. Leveling system is nice, um, you have to find different things and do different things, which keeps the game interesting, I like that, I do like that. Um, so that is a plus in my opinion, whereas you have to go and find, you know, if you want to use the Rebels, you have to go and find uh, different things to help make them help you. In order to unlock airstrikes, you have to go and actually you know, level that up to the point where you can get it by finding different things throughout the land. So that's a good thing. I like that a lot. So the leveling system is also another positive. But now we're going to get into the cons. And I'm going to be harsh on this game, and I apologize in advance, okay? But we're going to hit back on the story. The story, while it has a great setup, at least in the beta, I hope they fix it in the main game because it could be amazing, but you know how like a splitter cell will draw you in and be like, oh, what's going to happen to Sam Fisher next? I really didn't care what was going to happen to my character next because it's like because it's open world it's like and i love the open world don't don't take that away don't take that the wrong way but because it's open world it's kind of like oh, well i don't really know what's going on or care about this character at all it's just like fun to screw around in like i'm gonna go do missions because it's fun to screw around not because i want to complete the missions so that score story-wise i felt that was a little con i wish they would have drawn you more into your characters and about your characters and i hope they do that in the main game but we're talking about the beta right now so, there you have that. Now, another con. This game, for all its positives, in my opinion, is a clone of Tom Clancy's The Division. It is literally like they took that game as a base, and I'm sure they didn't, I'm sure they did that with plenty of video games, okay? But it's like they took that game as a base and simply made it open world and readjusted some things. So, I'm like, eh. I feel kind of like it's a clone of The Division. Not not exactly a clone, but it's kind of just... It plays the same way. It feels the same way. It's like Division 2.0 that's open world and not as multiplayer-wise. So, take that for what you will, but that was just my thoughts on it. It didn't really bring anything new to the table. Cars and, and all that other stuff in open world is nice, but The Division was kind of pretty much open and you could go wherever you wanted, so you see where I'm going with this. Division clone, I don't really like that. So... That's really the only con on this. As far as replayability, if you like screwing around in this game, then it's very replayable because you can just go get online with your friends and screw around, which is always nice. But there's more to the game than that. So what are we going to give this on the Mobile World of Worlds review? Today, we're going to give Ghost Recon a 7 out of 10. Because it is a beta, I'm being generous, a little bit generous. I thought about giving it a 6, but we're going to give it a 7 um, for the simple fact that it is a beta that we reviewed, okay? Some of the explosions and things didn't work great because it was a beta. And I think they'll fix those things in the thing. That's why I didn't even talk about them. But like when you explode a car, it should kill you in my opinion. But eh, it is what it is. Um, so that's one thing that I will point to and say that's one reason that I'm being lenient and giving it a 7. But it's got a lot of problems, guys. I'm not going to lie. I just didn't like how it was so much like Tom Clancy's The Division. So there's just that. So today on today's Mumbles Review, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon gets a 7 out of 10. But it's just a beta, so it can still improve, it can get better, and maybe you guys love it. 
Anyways, guys, this has been another episode of Mumbles. I want to thank you all so much for joining me. Please smack the subscribe button. Ow! I'm not going to do it. Smack the subscribe button. Smack the like button. Smack all the buttons. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye, everyone. Take care.